YouTube, hi, hello, welcome. We are continuing more with Resident Evil Code Veronica. If you guys watched the last part, oh my god, did I was I struggling near the end of that. Oh boy, that, that boss fight was... Mm. Whew. Yeah. Also, part was a whole hour longer, so you're welcome, YouTube. I don't normally stream that long, because I don't usually have the time, but... That day I just did... I um, uh, don't think today's stream is going to be quite as long as that. Um, uh, though I don't think I'm going to be finishing the game tomorrow. I think maybe the game will be... F I, I mean, today. Blah. I don't think I'll be finishing the game today. But I may be finishing it tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure on that. But I'm uh, hey, if you didn't check out the previous part, please go ahead and do that. It was a lot of fun. There was a lot of frustrations at the end. I'm sure there's plenty of my pain that you guys can go and laugh at if you want so without further ado we're gonna get started here I didn't start up with the game on screen cuz pretty sure once when I load it up it's gonna start right up so YouTube bear with me for a moment as the game loads in uh, load state Oh. Hey, wake up, Steve. Oh. Oh. We're still alive. Yeah, surprisingly. It's amazing what the main characters of this series actually live through. Okay, really? Thanks. Probably the first hug you ever received, huh, Steve? Plane's trashed. Well, let's split up and find another way off this oversized freezer. Right. Okay, let's do it. Sure thing, Steve. All right. Well, I guess that means I don't have access to my item box anymore. Oh my god, how do I play this game again? All right, like this. Oh, why do I have ink? ribbons on me. That's probably not the worst thing to have on me actually right now. I don't know. I, does this mean I'm on manual or that I'm on auto? I think I'm on manual. Hopefully I'm not wasting ammo. Okay. But I'm nearly out of everything. So that's not... Freaking good. Plane can't be used. There's no need to go back. I don't think there's a way for me to go back, game. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. Well, there's apparently a dead end over here. How do I run again? This is how I run. Emergency evacuation, VTOL storage, restricted area. And nothing else. Alright. Going this way then. Got the door in front of me. Also got another door over there. Is this door friendly? I don't think this door is friendly. Alright, before I deal with you guys, because I really don't have that much ammo right now, I kind of used, like, Oh, 90% of it on the boss. Anything in here? Hoping for a save room. Well, 
Well, it's definitely a room. Uh, there's a dead guy. Cool, can't wait for him to come alive. Ah, uh, multiple dead people. Oh, great, they're probably going to come alive once when I pick up this thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, well done, powder. Yep, thought so. Ah, oh, god damn it. Can I? Oh, Jesus. Wow, there's a lot of you here. Also, I am on manual, so cool. I'm not wasting my ammo. Like I said before. Tink. Tink, 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 tink. Alright. A monster might have been the killer. No, oh, really, freaking the guy that's like webbed up and has like a freaking pumpkin for a head might have been killed for a monster from a monster. Who would have thought? I totally thought humans could spin webs. Oh, there's so much web. Ah, uh, I hate it. Ah, uh, no, I don't want it. More bowgum bolts. Sweet. I won't poo poo this as much. So I do need more of the fire ones. Where? Where is that rattling coming from? Also, is there a light switch? Oh, there's a herb. Oh. Okay, hold on. I need to put some things away. Alright, let's put... Uh, we can probably put the grenade launcher away for now. Honestly, until we get more of... That explosive ammo, that's not going to be too useful for right now. Um... I don't think I'll need the full heal anytime soon. At least hopefully not. Okay... Save slot three, why not? Okay. Have fun, Mr. Rat. Butler's letter. Sir Alfred, please forgive me as I must tell you of my abrupt departure by leaving this letter. I first served your father, Lord Alexander, and have so long shared in the joys and sorrows of the Ashford family. Lord Alexander disappeared unexpectedly 15 years ago, then an accident during an experiment took the life of our, deal of our dear Alexia. Oh, we're getting the backstory of what happened with them. Uh, you were forced to become the master of the family at a very young age and nearly lost your sanity from the sorrow of having lost all your family members at once. There was nothing I could do and I felt powerless. I first thought that I should kill myself to apologize. 
How is that an apology? Friggin' you're literally the last dude this guy has left. And you think the best way to apologize is to end your life? When he just lost the... Okay. Sure. Yeah, that's... The, the, actually, that's how I apologize all the time. Uh, don't, don't ask me how I do it more than once. Uh, I then realized that it would be an insult to our dear Lord Alexander and Alexia in the other world. Scott Harmon, Ashford Family Butler. Uh, okay. There's a switch. No electricity. I wonder why that is. Okay. Well. I should probably have the knife, at very least, if I'm not gonna have anything else. Can I, like... Didn't think so. Eh, it doesn't hurt to check. Alright, back out into the world we go! Oh, great, you're over there now. What's in here? I, uh, you, you know what? I'll, I'll wait on that. Okay, I'm gonna go back upstairs then, real quick. Up, oh, there's an herb over there. Oh, get off me! Also, oh, is there another door on the side there? Not according to the map. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, I'm poisoned. Oh. Ah, shit. I did not realize that. Ah, so this is where the blue herbs start to come in handy. And over on the end there was probably a freaking blue herb. Ah, uh, bitch. Poison is by far the worst status ailment to get. Yeah, 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 you guys are having fun. Hey, man. How's it going? Yep, saw that coming. Could you not bang on the door, please? You're acting like a child. See the herb there, give me it. Okay, cool. I can cut metal materials here, apparently. Yep, they're still here. Can I? Like... No, I didn't think so. You're so loud. Going to the other side, but let's go just in case. 
Check. Locked. Labeled machine room. Alright, noted. Can't wait till I forget that in like three minutes. Right. Which means I need to go back down with all the bugs. And then even further down to all the zombies. Ah, crap. Well, that room is filled with zombies, so I'm not going back in there. I wonder how difficult it would be to hit all of them with the knife. Hey, come back. Flying low or high, because I've aimed high and I've aimed low and I missed them. Ah, great, they freaking change. Oh, come on! God damn it. Oh my god, that animation is like unavoidable. And I have doors. Uh, didn't I? I used the blue herb in the previous room. Why am I not? Why am I not healed? Hold on. So, really? Re really? Really? Okay. That should heal me of poison now, right? Cool, I'm just in caution. Probably need to equip this. Hey man, stay over there. Hmm, this way is blocked. Well, I've lived a good life. Whenever I see them. Any minute now. Uh, yep, there he is. Did I shoot off his helmet? Uh, is that what makes him more tanky? Is the helmets? Ah, oh, dude. Fish move. Ah, great. It sounds like there's still two of them left. At the very least. Maybe more. Secure the... Th Shotgun shells. I... Don't have a shotgun, but I appreciate the thought. Also, it looks like there's an herb right there. Uh, oh, hey guys. Nope, you're dead. Alright. Where's your friend? I hear him out there, but I don't see him. You over here? Cool. 
anti BOW gas. Oh, there you are. Hey, man, was waiting for you. I can't tell if you're dead, so I'm gonna back up. All right, now you're probably dead. You good? Cool. Hopefully you guys don't respawn like some other ones that I know. Uh, okay, thank you, game. I, yeah, sure, there's a thing up there. Alright, try door number one. This, this door said B-O-W on it. I don't want to be in this room anymore. Gas mask lock releases and if gas leak occurs. Oh shit. Is that dogs? Am I hearing? Oh no, it's worse than dogs. Nope. Nah. Nah. I pass. Pass on that. Well, let's go see what's in the other room. Weapon. You see, now that's a more, much more friendly room name. Oh, jeez, this wasn't friendly. I have two bullets. All the chemicals here, I wonder what they were used for. Mining room key. Well, that's something. Hey man, how's it going? Uh, you vibe in there with your friends for a moment. I'm gonna go to the mining room. Discard it. Oh. Okay. Not gonna lie, this part of the game I really struggle to remember. So. What is there in this room? Okay, dead end, dead end over that way, room over th there. Let's check over here first then. Ooh, freaking bot lose myself in the abyss. There's a hole shaped like an oxagon. There's a notice. Poison gas in case of emergency, seal off. Oh. Great. I saw the gas mask in that other room. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Hello? Can't see. Oh, crap. I have two bolts to my name. And there are dogs in there. 
Damn it, and it's a big room too. Um, something that tells me a save is gonna get reloaded pretty soon. Uh, let's use this green herb just so that way I live a little bit longer. Won't be by much. There's another one right there, I can see it. No, 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 no! Okay. Had myself a Cleveland Brown moment. But we're good. We equip you. Yeah, manual. It's still very likely that I might need to reload a save. Another green herb. Try not to waste it. Yo, Shrek, what up, man? It's been a while. I'm doing fine, thank you. How are you doing? Don't mind me, I just killed a dog. Another dog in here? Or is there only the one? Usually there's two. Oh god, there's two! Good, almost finished Half Life 2. Yo, hell yeah. I never ever played through um, uh, Half-Life 2 myself, so I don't know how long that game is. Okay. Oh, Jesus, a third dog! Nope, I haven't even played the first Half-Life. <laughs> I'm familiar with both games, but I've never played or finished either one of them. Amazing series? Yeah, I know. It's something I've been meaning to get to, I just haven't. Half-Life Alex only... I, I believe that's only VR. But I could be wrong. Is there nothing in this room? You can't give me a room with three dogs and tell me nothing is in here. I am clicking X on everything. Half-Life is free now, I think. But it won't be tomorrow. Oh, well, I mean, like... Freaking Black Friday and all that stuff is coming in just a couple days anyway, so there's going to be a lot of things on sale pretty soon regardless. Black Friday and then I'm a Cyber Monday. Half-Life 2 is 99 cents. I think I own the games, I just haven't played them. If 
thing. I need to double check my steam. Power's been restored. Restore electric power? Sure. Do it? I will. I'll do it eventually. I'll probably do it on stream too, why not? Blind playthrough to um, a Half-Life series? Probably be entertaining. You won't regret it. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a green herb there that I almost missed. in here? This room is played out very confusingly. I don't think it is. Alright. Don't have to know the story of the first one to understand the second, but it's highly recommended. I mean, I'll, I'll definitely play through both games. Oh, hey, turning on the power also turned on the music again. Cool. I supplied power to the DJ. Also, my inventory is a freaking walking wheat stash. something over here? Maybe that was the cage. Didn't I finish this game? I finished part one of this game. I am now in part two. <laughs> so even though I had what seemed like a final boss in the last episode that I did of this, it, it, the game's not actually done. There's still a bit more to it. I don't remember how much more though. It's at this point in the game where my memory of um, uh, what happens in, in the rest is kind of fuzzy. I know I play as um, uh, Claire's brother Chris for a good portion at some point, but I don't remember how long. What was in here again? Oh, right, this room. Hey man, you're not gonna walk through the flames, are you? Wherever you are. He's probably fine. Nothing useful here. Alright. And what's this? That's nothing. Okay, looks like this room has nothing for me. Cool! How do you aim? Uh, not very easily. So it's R1 to aim, X to shoot, and then I can aim high and low. Alright. I'm gonna go toe to toe with this spider ass motherfucker and hope I don't get poisoned. Ow, oh, you bitch! How dare you! Oh, hey, you know what? I'm not poisoned. How old is this game? Well, it originally came out on the PS2 and GameCube. So, uh, what, does, what does that tell you? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, there's one under the floor? Oh, jeez, and there's one above the floor. Hello, how are you? Uh, pardon me, I'm just running around here. Hey, I found an herb. Oh, and it's a blue one. Neat. There's another herb here, I want it. Oh, nope. Cool, he's dead. 
Oh, I'm full on things. Whoopsies. Okay. 2005? Yeah, that sounds about right. Because I think RE4 came out in... 2006? 2007? Maybe? I don't remember. Oh, cool! Bowgun bolts! When I don't have the bowgun on me. Oh, and handgun ammo that I desperately need, but I... Fuck! <laughs> Alright, well... You guys are getting combined. There we go. Give me this. Have I ever played FNAF? Um, uh, the only FNAF game that I even own is um, uh, Ultimate Custom Night, and that's only because the game was free. If that game wasn't free, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't have any freaking um, uh, FNAF game. God, I hate that spider corpse there. Makes me think it's still alive. Oh, and you can't get down to it too, so you just have to constantly dodge poison in this room. So, I'm, uh, no, I've never really played FNAF. I'm a... Uh... <laughs> yes, be happy with yourself. Jeez. I mean, I've considered FNAF on stream and stuff, but those games are also pretty fucking difficult, and I kind of suck at video games. As you can see, I can't shoot a fucking moth. Um, hello? Moth? Oh, you're on the ground struggling. Oh my god, this is so fucking annoying. Ah! Ow, fuck you. Extreme prejudice. Ah, oh, surprisingly, not poisoned. Okay, let's go back in here real quick. Because I have some stuff that I need to drop off. Oh, hey, there's a manual thing there that I missed. Read that in one moment. We'll put you there. I don't have a shotgun at all, so no point in me carrying the ammo. Also, I still have the ink ribbons on me? God damn it, why'd I carry those with me? Freaking idiot. Alright, what does this say? Alexander's memo. My father, Edward, discovered the mother virus in cooperation with Lord Spencer, who, also, who was also a nobleman. They studied it for the purpose of military use. Eventually, their study took shape. They named a variation of the mother virus the T-Virus. To camouflage their research, they, este they established Umbrella Chemical Inc. I majored in biogenetics and have been involved with a top secret project supporting my father's research. However, my research went through a difficult phase, and my father died in the middle of the project. We are now at a major disadvantage against other researchers, as there is, a, as there is great competition in the field of T-virus research. I have disgraced the honorable name of the Ashford family that our great ancestor Veronica established. 
If nothing is done, Umbrella will be taken over by Spencer. I must expedite that project to its fullest without being detected by Spencer. After much thought, I decided to establish a large-scale um, uh, advanced research facility. It will be located in the transport terminal that I created by using the abandoned mine in, Ant in the Antarctic. Within the facility, I'll have a room built with... It will be similar to the design of my mansion, the legacy of the late Trevor. I will be able to cherish my sweet memories there. For security purposes, this confidential project will be given a code name. It is the name of the beautiful ancestor of the Ashford family, Veronica, whom I wish to receive, who I wish to revive so badly. I am confident that research, that the research of my, that the results of my research, will be as glorious as her name, and that honor be restored to the Ashford family once again. Huh. So that's why they call it Code Veronica. Anyway. Thank you for that, Alexander. And... Yeah, right, there's a switch back here. If you don't know how to play it, it's not hard. I'm like on night five in like two days. It took you two days to reach night five? Let's not bother him yet. Oh, fuck. I forgot all about fucking Nosferatu until this very fucking moment. Oh, bitch. And I definitely don't have the ammo to deal with him right now. Hey, if these moth things respawn, I'm gonna be very annoyed and pissed off. Oh god, they respawned! I'm annoyed and pissed off! I came back up here. Was there something I could do up here that required power? Oh, hello. This is on the corner. Oh, that's nothing. Okay. It looked like an item for a moment. Thought it was possibly freaking I'm a bowgun bolts. Hey man, how's it going? You need to learn how to behave. Oh, there was handgun bolts right there. Well, I wish I noticed that sooner. I don't have a diamond. Oh, also I can reach over here. Ink ribbon. Cool, but why? Why an ink ribbon here? There's not even a safe spot. Yeah, 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 I know. Shut up. Oh, now I need to go back down. things to respawn. Why these motherfuckers?
I'm so annoyed by your existence. Okay. Also, remember when I said that I brought back the music? Apparently that was only temporary, because the music's gone again. Jeez, I have freaking 18 ink ribbons. Jesus Christ. Do I need anything else out of here? No, I don't think so. Why do I still have this? That must be useful for something else later. Because I didn't get the option to get rid of it. Alright. Do another save state since I'm in a save room. And we'll run back out. Ah. Ah. Ow. Literally all of you respawned. Really? I'm poisoned? Freaking what it do? All it did was like slap me with a freaking wing. Are you kidding me? Bullshit. that was. What do I do now? What do I do? What do I do now? What do I do? I, 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 I. Oh, right. This room is just a dead end. Right, so that room is useless. Spider now. Is there a way for me to get down below? Do I even need to get down below? I don't think there's a reason for me to. But hey, you know what? I'll just save and we'll run around for a bit. Man, I'm glad his aim is bad. This one, Mr. Spider, but I gotta go. Although I'm not sure where to. Kind of explored all my options. Not 
ここ Down, please. Down, please. I don't know if there's a reason to go back into this room. Probably not. stuff. Yeah, there's not, there's no reason for me to be in here anymore, I don't think. And I probably didn't need to waste as much ammo as I did killing the dogs, but... Huh. Well, other than taunting fucking Nosferatu, I'm not sure what to do. I really don't want to deal with those for our two yet. I don't have the goddamn ammunition. While I prepare myself for sudden death, I also need to use the restroom. So I will be right back, everybody. So sorry. Just a quick BRB.
Sorry about that long bathroom break. Really needed it. Uh, headphones, headphones. Get yourself situated. Turn off that screen. Okay. Alright. Hey. Well, thanks for not being too mad. Anyway. The plant pot. It appears to be an ordinary one. A mining room key? Or machine room key? Blah, blah, blah. Cool. I know where that goes. Alright. Uh, now to run through freaking Moth Alley. Oh god, I hate poison in Resident Evil. the knife out because it's faster. It's not actually faster. This way. God, hi, like Steve. An Australian observation Fuck. Base about you scared the shit out of me, man. That should be our target. Great news. And take a look at that. It's a digging vehicle. If we break the wall with it, we might have a chance. Okay. Let's do it. Don't you look at my ass. No, stop it. The, ah, not with the music. Steve, watch out! God damn it, Steve. It's toxic gas! Come on! God damn it. Don't say that. Listen to me. We'll escape I mean, Claire, it's kind of his fault. Together. Come on. We've got to shut off the gas. If we split up, we'll have a better chance of stopping it. Okay. Steve. Don't forget. We'll get out of here. Together. Claire, you're dropping a lot of, you're dropping a lot of togethers, and for some reason, I don't feel like we're actually gonna get out of here together. Okay, good thing I already know where there's a freaking gas mask. I just need to run past Mom Alley again.
Good, that didn't poison me. I need that gas mask. But, but there, there's a leak. What do you mean? Going in here is a good idea. Too dang, yeah. <laughs> Leave me alone. I don't like any of you. I annoyed him for no reason. My head, it just... Trash? Nope. Okay. There's like no other rooms for me to go into. Um. <sighs> I'm 
set there. I didn't think Claire would go like jumping off the like a freaking action hero or whatever, but doesn't hurt to try checking. Speaking of trying to check. Anything can just this hole over here, possibly. I could think of is to check this room with all the dudes, but the problem is it's a room with a bunch of dudes. Okay. Let's check and see. Probably gonna regret this. death like I thought I would be. Oh great, I got a map. Well, I mean that's not unhelpful. Cool, great. Handgun bullets. Worker's diary. October 30th, when I joined Umbrella Inc., I thought that I would be able to live carefree for the rest of my life being employed by this huge corporation. It's a joke that I ended up being a driver at at a place like this, I asked for a position change, but they completely ignored me. It feels like, it feels more like a prison. Work is extremely demanding, and there's nothing fun about it. I'd rather be dead. Oh, funny story about that. Uh, November 3rd, my hard-earned vacation was cancelled suddenly. I heard they failed to secure enough manpower due to a mistake made by the facility had Alfred. The fool doesn't deserve forgiveness. He doesn't even treat us like human beings. November 5th, I heard an interesting story from a guy who's been working here for over eight years. He must be awfully patient. He says that there is a man who has been confined for over ten years locked up in a cell deep below. People call him Nosferatu and are deathly afraid of him. What an absurd story. It's not as absurd as you might think. November 10th, at midnight, I woke up to an ominous growling sound that seems to be coming from deep underground. I'm so pathetic to have been frightened by such a foolish story. Then again, I suppose if anyone would have had, if, if anyone would have a hard time maintaining their sanity, it would be confined in a place like this. Okay, cool, got a note. You know what? First aid spray and bullets? Maybe this wasn't actually unworth it. I'm 
unfortunately though, that still doesn't this doesn't help me with anything that I need. Cause there's nothing here. what to do. Um, I think I have like two full heals in my box. So I don't think it would be an issue if I used this, but you know what? I'm making a save state, run back to the save room so I can put away these ink ribbons. And if I get hit or whatever, I can just reload and try again because I don't want to get hit by the moths. Poison is pretty freaking cringe. Alright, well, I still don't know where to go or what to do. I have this sticker for no discernible reason. I thought I found it, at least. Yeah, I know we can take the box after that. Um, just tease him while I'm here. I'm sure that's not going to come back to haunt me later when I need to fight him. Too far. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Wow. Didn't get hit. That's actually kind of surprising. I was totally expecting to get hit there. Alright. Um. I don't suppose I'm interacting with these things again. I think. Party on. I needed to get I needed to drop in the freaking on a spider room. Yeah, you have fun back there, man. Okay. I'm 
assuming it's something I need to do in here. Because I didn't actually get anything. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, just had a thought. Wait a minute. Can I put the sticker on that box? I don't know why that would change anything, but maybe if I put sticker on the box. doesn't even kill a spider in here. It, that was literally just a means to an end. Okay. I need some sort of octagon thing to seal off the gas, so I don't think there's any point of me going in that room, so I think I need to go back up and explore more. Oh, there's a freaking hiccup around the place. I'm drunk. Oh, God. I don't even drink, but I'm drunk. No! Damn it. I'm not dealing with poison bullshit, so try again. Round two. Ha! Screw you, moths. Alright. Let's have the pistol equipped. Just because I don't know what's going to be in the room and stuff. Also, I have a decent amount of ammo for right now. first before freaking I had that run in with Steve. But oh well. Is this valve handled by chance in the shape of an octagon? Not really, but and I have it, so I guess that's where I, I guess I know where I need to use it. Equip the gas mask, go back in. Alright, time to go back down. Hopefully, not get poisoned by the moths. Only I grabbed that first, I wouldn't have had to do this whole extra bit here, but oh well. Not the worst thing. Alright, 
save just in case because of moths. I think I finally realized what something is used for. Uh, crap, where was that? That was back upstairs in the other goddamn room. Achoo oh my god, how'd I end up here? Wow, that's crazy. Man, who would have thought? <clears throat> Can't wait for me to be wrong. And I would have actually been fine if I continued. But I'm assuming I need to cut this into the shape of an octagon. And there's a freaking cutter in here that says it's for diamond. But I don't think I'm actually going to get a diamond in this game. Hey man, how's it going? Okay, yeah. That would have gotten you out of the cage. Out of curiosity, can I shoot you through this gate? No, I can't. Right. I'm gonna load to save literally that one bullet. Anyway, you have fun in there. I'm assuming you'll probably have to come back because there's an item in there. back down there. That's cool. Great. So now I not only have a mod story about, but I have them. Alright. So th I would have had to make this extra trip regardless because I needed to cut that. Alright. Alright, so it wasn't the worst thing in the world that I didn't go into that room first. Alright, let's try this again. Try not to die. Or at least take a lot of damage. What the heck? Why are you guys moving already? Uh, and I'm already poisoned. Why the heck were they already moving? Usually they don't move until I enter. Or, like, until I get down all the steps, I mean. The words are difficult. Get off the screen. Great, they're just moving. There's no need to use it now. There's plenty of need to use it now. There's poison. Was it not close enough? Fuck off. God damn it. Alright. 
eager to take We're that off. Think again, Claire. I shall enjoy watching you shriek in agony. Not this time! Oh my god, Steve! Oh my god! That was cool. Oh god. I think Nosferatu is free. Oh, hey, he has a thing on his ear. Pardon me, Steve. It is imperative that I pick this up. Claire! What are you doing? Let's go! I needed the sniper rifle. Are you ready? I'm gonna bust through that wall. Go for it! Claire, maybe we can escape through there. Come on, let's go. insane place. Sure, Steve, sure. Steve behind. I'm sure we could. Hurry up! Go, go, go! Stop rushing me! Okay, let's go! Come on, let's go! Are you scared? No, there's a friend. Oh! Where is he? I 
can't see him. I think he's somewhere there. But I really cannot see him. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, I kind of saw that coming. Ah. Oh, jeez, nope, not this far back. Definitely not that far back. Whoops. Sorry about that. Freaking giving myself nightmares. How the hell do I need to use the restroom again? Oh my god. I have the fucking bladder of a goddamn toddler. I am so sorry, everybody. I'll be right back. God damn it. I'm back. So sorry about that. Oh my god. I can't believe I need to use the restroom freaking twice in like 30 minutes. What am I, my dad? Fuck. Anyway. I wish I went back to the save room and grabbed heals. Wondering if maybe I should reload an old save and do that, but hey, maybe I can get through this without it. Who knows? Let's try again.
Ah, shit. Okay, well. Oh, but I'm not poisoned. Weird. heal up here. Oh, I'm dumb. Maybe I should run at the start there. <laughs> I immediately got poked off to death. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that, that, that's good. That's comedy. That That's okay, comedy. Okay. Get a little bit away from him and let's do a new save state. Oh god! <laughs> it's so funny every time. Status screen doesn't say poisoned, but I don't know if that necessarily means that.
Okay, so it does tell me if I'm poisoned. The problem is, I can't tell if I'm actually hitting his goddamn heart. I don't know if I got poisoned in the last moment. Steve! Oh yeah, Steve, how's it hanging? <laughs> you look like Are you're you about ready to pass out. Hi. Clear. You're alive. Yeah, I shot him with a sniper. Again with a sudden Canadian accent. Don't worry about it. Let's go. I swear I'll protect you next time, Claire. Thank you. Ooh, cutscene. We did it! We're finally out! <laughs> Look! There's a snowmobile over there! Perfect! We'll be able to ride right over to the Australian base with this! Yeah! Let's go! Don't forget about this, You're Claire. still alive? You got lit up by a freaking submachine gun and fell down a major hole. How are you alive? Also, really, are we about to get a second fake-out escape scene? Two fake outs. And man, you are a very naked woman. Twitch, please don't ban me.
You guys just have a camera conveniently pointed out that way? In the meantime, on an isolated island, Chris Redfield, who I didn't actually play as Following on my on stream yet. Given to me by Leon has brought me here. Whoops. I might need to go back to Resi 1 and actually play through him. Man, Chris, I can't wait till Resi 5 and you could just punch this mountain in half. even know what Claire was doing. <laughs> oh, right, because she set off that message that she sent to Leon, and then Leon informed... Okay. I, I forgot about that plot. Okay, first off, why wasn't your pistol equipped? Second off, let's continue. Ah, oh, my god. Back in the shoes of freaking Chris motherfucking Redfield. Oh boy, this this is a trip. I didn't expect to find another living person left on this island. Sup? Who are you? I came here looking for a certain girl. A girl? Have you seen anyone named Claire Redfield? Did you just say... Claire? You know who she is, don't you? Don't Calm down, worry Chris. about her. I helped her escape. Several planes took off from this island not long ago. While I can't say for certain, she was probably on one of them. I see. I guess my sister owes you. Thanks for helping. Everyone's gone. I may be the only other person left. Probably. Go on. Follow your sister and get off this island. Oh, the worm! Oh! Man. Maybe I should have killed the worm. I must save him? I don't think that's a possibility, Chris. Dedicate a light on my right hand. It seems I can put the stone lid down. Sure. Two slim machine guns are placed here. Interesting. Graves, some of them very old. Could be early residents of the island. Even more ink ribbons. Oh, but I don't have the extra freaking inventory room that Claire does. God damn it. That sucks. Alright, well, first off, put away the knife. Those can join that. And these... Uh, hold on. For a moment. Chris gets the shotgun somewhere. Okay. 
I don't think I need anything else quite yet. But we are going to do an in-game save. Chris! You! I don't remember how long Chris's part is in this. But you know what? Happy to be him. Move around my inventory because I'm fucking insane. save state because I never know how to trust my computer or the emulator for that matter. All right. Let's go exploring, Chris. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, you see, the thing is, I wasn't expecting the worm to be right here. Just had to be on the top floor. Probably could have done that better, but I'm not too worried about it right now. find it. Aha, the ammo. I remembered you under there, you son of a bitch. I remember seeing you in the cutscene and being pissed off of why I couldn't reach you.
manhole. Okay, but what about girl hole? Redfield to the rescue. Ah, cool. Save room. Oh, and an infinite supply of blue herbs. Ah, oh, great. I bet that only means wonderful things for me in the future. Oh god, this room is like stocked up with shit. Also, I'm finding a lot of shotgun shells for someone who does not have a shotgun. Oops. Lava burns, forest flows to sea, forms earth. Oh. So, lava burns forest, goes to sea. Back out into the world I go. That's the battery. Oh, 
fucking shit, man. Hey, stop me. Really? Why is this spider the strongest thing in the world? How am I not poisoned? Oh, and there's just... Okay, yeah, I should have just ran. You know what? Uh... Screw that noise and all that health and stuff that I lost. I'm just gonna run. I just wanna run. Throw it away. in. Cheater. What are the enemies getting so good? I want to so good. I can hear all my friends outside. storage key. There's a file. Report Enhanced Anti-Decay Alloy. Although we plan to utilize the Enhanced Anti-Decay Alloy called Deploid to create the new storage capsule of the BOW, we have had to cancel the plan. This is primarily based upon the fact that despite its excellent resistance to all kinds of liquid including strong acid, it easily dissolves when soaked with a mixture of two chemicals, Clement A and Clement Epsilon. I guess that's alpha then. Uh, due to the lethal nature of the BOW, we cannot be too careful in choosing the material for the storage capsule. We have instead decided to use Deploid to create the plate portion of the Eagle Plate, which shines in indigo blue. Clement information. The Alpha type is used for gun maintenance and purposes no conspicuous characteristics. However, the Epsilon type will change its color to blue at a certain temperature. It is an odd coincidence that the temperature is exactly the same as the date of the completion of this training facility. Based upon our analysis of the Epsilon type, we believe that Clement possesses more features. As new information is learned, we will update this file. I feel like this file is out of date. You lied. No, she's already oh. fully awake. Hey, Albert, how's it going? Chris, oh, little fishy, come see my hook. <laughs> Chris, I'm sending some company to keep you entertained. No, that's not necessary. Oh, why does that look like a spider? Consider this a small welcoming gift from me. Enjoy. Oh, it's a hunter, not a spider. That's worse. Oh, 
Okay, what's the robot for, though? Save room that was up here is still available to me. It looks like it is actually. Shit. Uh, down. All oh, right, the fucking elevator and shit. Where did this go again? Ah, here. Ah. Well, son of a bitch. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, hey, man. Uh, pardon me. Also, this place is looking very well intact for something that was supposedly to self-destruct. Eagle plate floating to the river seems to be a passage for the river. Okay, well, I obviously know where that's telling me to go. Miss those two inventory spots from Claire. Oh my Christ, I did not mean to do that to the man. Lord Almighty. Two more slots. Man, there's a lot of bowgun and ammo in here. Hey man, sorry I blew you up. It was not intentional. I didn't even know there was an explosive back here. room. there. So is there nothing for me up here aside from that ammunition? Why was I allowed to go up here? Going back 
across. Yo, Mary with another 10 viewer raid? Thank you so much, oh my god. Says it's my turn on the Xbox. Well, ha, I'm playing on a PlayStation emulator. <laughs> Oh my god, welcome! Welcome everybody, thank you so much! <laughs> Emulator cancelled. I'm sorry, I had did what I had to do. <laughs> this game isn't available on PC. I think. Pretty sure it doesn't. <laughs> oh! Hi friend! Hi! No, I don't want to hug. Okay, he's hugging me. What the f Huh. <laughs> Man. That zombie was serious about his hugs. Oh, me oh, jeez. Where was the last place that I saved? I don't remember. Ah, back here. Well, you know what? I can I at least put away some stuff that I know I don't need? Uh... He's back. <laughs> put this away. I can probably put the single green herb away too. And... The rest of this should be fine. Alright. Time to re-explore what I've already explored. Oh, I also have to run from the spiders again. Mm, don't like spiders. Uh. Oh, fucking crap! How did I forget about this cutscene? I literally just went through it not that long ago. Ah! down please <laughs> Tajweed29 thank you so much for the follow appreciate it oh man I'm a uh, for anyone who's a part of Mary's stream that hasn't been to my stream before first off welcome I appreciate all of you very much I'm a uh, my name is Sikoni and I have streamed on Twitch for nearly two years I do a lot of old-school games mostly horror stuff but I do switch it up every now and then to something a bit goofier. So, hope you guys enjoy my mediocre content, as I like to say. <laughs> my heart jumps, not me, but my heart. <laughs> do, do, do. Go back up. My opinion on Dino Crisis. Well, fun fact, I actually played through Dino Crisis. And it was a fun time. I really enjoyed it. Surprisingly, not as many dinosaurs I would have thought would be in the game. <laughs> For a game called Dino Crisis, there, was, there really wasn't that much... There really wasn't that many dinosaurs. <laughs> Spared. <laughs> person is a convicted murderer. Holy shit. I don't think played the same game. Who Did you play on the harder difficulty? Because I only played on like normal. Maybe because I was on normal I didn't see that many dinosaurs. But I mean a lot of the dinosaurs I could just run away from. She's already fully awake. <laughs> dinosaurs are either ripped or I'm just bad. I mean, I didn't get through the game very easily either. I, I also struggled, so don't feel bad. Consider this a small welcoming gift from me. Enjoy.
<laughs> Mommy Wesker. <laughs> okay. Did all that again. Back up. Man looked at a dinosaur at the station and said, More, please. <laughs> I'm just saying, there really wasn't that many. Which is probably a good thing because at least I didn't find all that much gun ammo, so I really couldn't afford to kill everything. Look, when they said Dino Crisis, I was, I was expecting a dinosaur crisis, man. <laughs> freaking, it was mostly just freaking velociraptors. A couple pterodactyls, some other freaking dinosaur that wasn't even actually a meat eater, it was a goddamn plant eater. Fucking game lied to me. And the freaking T-Rex, which, my god, that ending bit with the T-Rex was the funniest shit I've ever seen. What about Dino Crisis 2? I have not played it yet. I do plan to in the future. You dead? Why did you get back up? How dare you? Oh, Nightbot! God damn it, there is still a monkey inside my Nightbot. I have not fixed that yet. You dead? COVID, but made it kid dinosaur. Di Dinovic. Uh, freaking. Ah, uh, cool. Great. <laughs> You know, how about they just give us a freaking new Dino Crisis game? Like, seriously, wh where the heck is our- where's our Dino Crisis, Capcom? Get all these Resident Evil remakes, but no love for Dino Crisis? Was there...? No, there's nothing out here, so... It was pointless for me to come this way. Yeah, unfortunately that's how it goes. I mean, lucky they didn't do that with freaking uh, Resident Evil. With freaking Razzy 6 and then freaking Umbrella Core and th that bullshit. Like, surprised they, did they didn't put this series on ice. Okay, that way's back down. What do I got on me right now? Right, this key, grenade rounds... Okay. Umbrella corpse did nothing wrong. Ooh! That is... That is a spicy opinion. <laughs> I don't know if you're serious with that opinion, but I, I will humbly disagree. Okay, cool. I'm glad you're not insane. Oh, hey, this is down now. Is that a shotgun? Fuck yeah. For Resi 6 though? Yeah, I can I can understand defending Resi 6 to an extent. Ah, this classic puzzle. I need to find a broken shotgun or something to place here. The only reason why I can understand defending Resi 6 is because Resi 6 did have some good ideas. They just weren't very greatly executed. Like, bringing everyone back in one game and stuff? Cool concept, but it just made the game way too long. 
And unfortunately, some stories suffered. Like, Leon's story is really freaking Helena's story. Leon might as well not even be in his own story. I'm, um, uh... The Chris campaign, I mean... It was... It was freaking... I'm, um, a uh, pumped-up action from Resi 5 even more. Which, I mean, wasn't the worst thing, but it's also what killed the series for a bit. Piers was a cool character, though. I mean, everyone likes Piers. I'm, uh... I didn't care for freaking Jake. They made him way too freaking want to be cool and edgy. So I didn't end up caring for him. I thought I'm, uh... I thought Cherry being an agent like I'm, uh, Leon and Claire was pretty freaking cool. I thought that was a nice touch and, like, good direction for our character. Hmm. Okay, well that way is filled with poison. Guess I'll go back this way. <laughs> So yeah, also the freaking um, uh, Ada campaign was kind of weird because they they made it co-op, but she didn't have a co-op partner, so they just give you a random agent that freaking just teleports places when there clearly wasn't an animation m made for him. Ironically, Leon's campaign is actually bad in my opinion. The good pace in the first third is thrown out the window. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not a fan of Leon's campaign either. Like, Leon's design and everything in Resi 6, he looks freaking cool and everything. Like, I have no problem with how he was designed, but his story was just so bad at that point. Is there a door up here? There's a lot of shit up here. And like I said, it was mostly freaking Helena's story, and Helena wasn't that good of a character. They should have, like, I don't know how they would have done it or whatever, but they should have um, uh, just had it be like Chris and Ada, or not, sorry, not Chris and Ada, Leon and Ada or something, because freaking Helena was worthless and like added nothing to the story. At least in my opinion. Yeah, Helena was trash. Helena is the one, like, Resident Evil side character, or I guess playable character, whatever you want to call her. She's the one character in Resident Evil that I care nothing for. Like, I'm not a fan of Jake, but even I, but I mean, I still appreciate Jake for what he is and stuff. I don't like Helena at all. Yeah, Shiva was infinitely more likable. And it sucked that Shiva essentially didn't have anything in Resi 5 other than just being the player 2 character just there for the hell of it. If they do a Resi 5 remake, which I mean everyone is suspecting that they will, I hope if they do do that, I hope they give her more character and like reason to be in the story. Cuz that would be cool. Cuz I mean everyone loves Shiva despite the fact that she had like no real purpose in the story. Oh, Leon, follow me, I'll tell you later. Literally, like, 90% of Helena's dialogue is, I'll just tell you later, or it's better if I show you. Like, fuck off, bitch! Tell me now! Also a Shiva apologist. Yo, I'm also a Shiva apologist. I love Shiva. I honestly hope to see her in a game again. And if they do make a Resi 5 remake, like everyone's suspecting that they're going to, I honestly hope she gets a bigger role. Or at least, like, more reason to be there in the story. Like, I would love that. Also, I could get on top of these boxes and stuff. Can I, like, push? Anywhere? Not really. Okay, cool. I can get on top of that box for no reason. 
Oh, great, a door handle. Huh. Uh, chew. Oops, I took this green herb. Oh, God. No, that means the hunter's on its way. Shit. Oh, one of these iconic cutscenes again. Oh, yeah, really? You just get to drop down that whole way? No fair. Cheater. Hacks. I call hacks. Hey, man, how's it going, you goddamn Battletoad-looking motherfucker? Oh, God, there's multiple! <laughs> Super disappointed she didn't end up in Resi 6, considering most of them returned. I mean, to be fair, there's a lot of Resident Evil characters that don't appear in 6, but yeah. I, I was also sad that Shiva... So far, at least, hasn't returned in anything again. Because she is a really freaking cool character. And she's only... I think she's, like, the only um, uh, character that you get to play as that isn't white. So, you know, other race representation and everything and all that. Uh, the only other, like, character with like a different eth ethnicity than white I think is Josh in the DLC and he was just a player 2 character for freaking uh, Jill in Resi 5 Ada? Oh yeah yeah right Ada's um, a Chinese right? Chinese? I think? I don't remember oh dude wait what am I doing with this? oh no um... Ah, oh, crap. Uh... Ambiguous Asian. I believe she's supposed to be Chinese, but I can't remember. Ah, oh, shit. I don't know what the code is for this. They said the date of the completion of the freaking training base, but I can't remember what that was. They never specified, I think, because she's super secret spy. I mean, she is like a freaking quadruple agent. Yeah, Friggin I had to look it up because I don't even know where are notes for the freaking facilities. Oh, great. Super Hunter, how's it going? Ow, that hurt. Owie, oof, owie my bones. Ow, wow, God, you're fast. Man, he is so fast and handsome. Oh God, his attacks also poison? I don't remember that. Oh, well, going here isn't any better. There's just two hunters in here. Hey, how's it going? Oh, God. Where's the door I came in through? I'm dying. Sealed off tight. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't want to die. I haven't saved in a while. Crap, where was the door that I came in through here? Oh, don't trap me in a corner, you bitch! Oh, I'm so fucked. Oh my god, I got so screwed. Fuck. Oh, man. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. I should have made a save somewhere with all my progress. Now I'm all the way back here again. 
God fucking damn it. Again now. Fuck, man. Get trapped in a corner by one goddamn fucking hunter. And this is what happens. Now I have to run past this goddamn fucking spider again. Hey, me, remember, there's a cutscene that's about to play here. Don't get scared. Okay, cool. You made it. Didn't get scared by the spider this time. Pardon me. fight a human-sized baby or a baby-sized hunter? Oh, hunter-sized baby. Or baby-sized hunter. Um... I mean, honestly, neither, but... Probably the hunter-sized baby? Because that's essentially just a human adult with freaking mush for brains, so, like... I, I could probably kick a big baby's ass. Not that I would. No one cancel me. <laughs> yeah, I read that. Already. Yep, we're gonna skip this now. Alexia. Up, oh, two cutscenes there. Okay, I thought that was all just one cutscene. Weird why they would split it into two. That's not what I'm trying to grab. Grab the grenade rounds. I want these. Alexia? Yep. She, she's just vibing. Holding her, I think, dead brother. I'm assuming he's dead at this point. Dude got freaking lit up by a submachine gun and fell down a massive hole. I don't know how he lived as long as he did. Why did I go down here? There's nothing down here. I examine the hole, I guess. Woo, yay, okay. Why, do, why the hell did I do this? Get back up these stairs, goddammit. Alright, I need the extra item space, so... Time to say hello to these zombies again. Die, 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 die. Really? God damn it. He died so much quicker the last time that I played. Or the last time I went through this. God damn it. Why are some of these zombies explosive? I don't understand. God, that took so much more ammo this time around. That's annoying. Um, I know there's the bowgun ammo there, but I'm gonna have to come back through here with the doorknob anyway, so I'll just leave it on the floor for now. Uh, 
Alright. Um, I guess I go to the basement floor. Try to gain back all the progress that I lost. That room was filled with poison. Okay. Don't don't go through the poison room again. Probably not good for my health. Hmm, you know what? Probably could have left that there. Probably could have left those ink ribbons there too, actually. Hmm, why am I picking up all this stuff? I don't need to pick all this up. Well, son of a bitch. <laughs> Already did it. I see people are slowly exiting out. If, uh, if anyone from Mary's Raid is still here, I just want to say thank you again. Very much appreciate you guys sticking around for a bit, for coming by. I'm uh, Mary, I don't know if you're still around or if you're lurking. But I'm, uh, thank you once again for the raid. I very much appreciate it. Uh, let's leave the green herb there for now. I'm gonna have to come back this way. first and wait to pick up that doorknob after. Ooh, brains. I gotta remember this guy freaking has attacks like poison. Wow, oh, there's also herbs in here. Oh, blue herb. What was this? Oh, red herb. Yeah, I'll take the red herb. I can mix that with the blue and green one that I got. Yay! Cool. Shotgun shells that I can't utilize yet. Alright. Gonna save state before the poison hunter. Oh, the hunter didn't spawn. Why did it not spawn? Is it because I didn't spawn the hunters out here? Is that why? Because I'm super confused. The hunter was supposed to spawn there. I mean, we literally just witnessed it. Huh. Alright. Well, hey, you know what? I won't complain about a lack of a hunter. Okay, we can skip that. Skip this too. Again, thought it was all one cutscene. Oh, man, three cutscenes. Wow. Ow, my ankles. I 
I can't take that. Hmm. Um, man, I wish I didn't pick up everything. Uh, what's the closest save room? That would be the one in between the spiders. <sighs> Fun. Um, I mean, I need these. I'll come back for you. There's also a flat burb there. way to go back to our freaking save room. Oh! Hi! You guys weren't here before. Okay, well... You made me panic back into the elevator. Those guys don't respawn, otherwise I'm going to be a bit annoyed. I can't wait for me to have done all this and then afterwards there's going to be a freaking save room like three feet from where progress is. Typically how my luck goes. Self, you freaking dead zombie boy. Hmm. Oh, great. Well, glad you guys made yourself at home. I hate both of you. Why is there two ink ribbons here now? Save, why not? God damn it, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty much time for me to wrap up, so this is actually a pretty good spot to stop. Alright. Well, 
I'm a... For anyone who is here from Mary's stream still, or if you're just a lurker in my chat that is, you know, chilling, uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Appreciate it. Especially if you're still here for Mary's raid. Again, I'm a thank you, big thank you to her. I really need to return the favor at some point. Um, <laughs> sorry, I forgot what words to say. Um, so I will be back streaming tomorrow, as far as I know. I don't think I'm going to have anything that interrupts my stream tomorrow. I'm a, hope to see everyone there and stuff. I'm a fun fact, tomorrow is going to be my day before my birthday. So going to do a bit of a day before birthday stream, since I won't be able to actually stream on my birthday. And uh, other than that, uh, Thanksgiving, there also won't be a stream, so... I'm a, I'm a, I'll probably say this again in the video tomorrow and stuff, but I'm a, if you celebrate Thanksgiving or anything similar-esque to it, or if you have the freedom to not be pestered by annoying family members that you only see like once a year, first off, congratulations. Also, I'm a, if you do actually do enjoy the holiday, hope you have a wonderful holiday. I'm a, and yeah, that's going to be it for this week. Tomorrow's stream will be the last stream for this week. And maybe the conclusion of Code Veronica? Maybe? I'm a, there might still be another part that I have to do for this, so maybe there'll be a part five next week. But I'm a, I, th I think we're getting close to the end of the game. I think. I don't remember how long Chris's segment is, but I don't think it's too terribly awful. But I'm a, until then, I'm a, YouTube, thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. Please consider coming over to Twitch and following me on here. I'd very much appreciate it. Or if you're someone who comes and frequently watches me on YouTube, please consider subscribing, maybe dropping a like, and even commenting what you enjoyed. I'm a, Until next time, YouTube. Hope you have a lovely day, night, or whenever the heck you watch this. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, YouTube.